Messrs Omega is a departmental store having three departments X, Y and Z. The information regarding three departments for the year ended 31st March 2013 are given below. Opening stock, purchases, debtors at yen, sales, closing stock, value of furniture in each department, floor space occupied by each department in square feet, number of employees in each department, electricity consumed by each department in units, then carriage inwards, outwards, salaries, advertisement, discount allowed, received, rent rate, taxes, depreciation on furniture, electricity expenses, labor welfare expenses. You are required to prepare the departmental trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2013 after providing for provision for bad debts at 5%. It's a pretty straightforward problem. We have to capture all the information. We have to allocate uh, the expenses to each and every department X, Y, Z uh, based on a suitable parameter. Okay, let's get started. The first item is the opening stock. So here I have the structure. The books of Mrs. Omega departmental trading and profit and loss account so we'll have it for department x y z we'll also have a column for total here also department x y z and we'll have a column for total so let me capture two opening stock and what is the information we have opening stock is 36 24 thousand and 20 thousand so 36 thousand it's 24 thousand and 20 thousand so its total is automatically captured here. The total works out to 80,000. Then next item we have purchases and it's pretty straightforward for all three departments. We can capture it directly. So I'll say two purchases and the values are 132,000, then 88,000 and we have 44,000. Let me just expand this. Okay, so this is the value 264,000. The next item is debtors at N. Okay, so this is an item which is not going to actually find place in this uh, trading or PNL account. And uh, our objective is only preparing the trading and PNL account. But uh, we'll be making use of this information somewhere. Where? Probably here for making provision for bad debts. So when we open profit and loss account, let us take care of this item that is debtors at N. Then we have sales 180,000, 135,000 and 90,000. Let's capture it on the credit. We'll say buy sales, which is 180,000, 135,000 and 90,000. So total works out to 405,000, fine. Next item is value of furniture in each department and closing stock okay let me capture the closing stock which is 45 17 521,000 so here I can capture by closing stock it's 45,000 17 500 and 21,000 so if you notice the total is getting captured here automatically and even here I have uh, keyed in the formula already fine then we have some information like value of furniture in each department. Uh, probably this information I can use for calculating depreciation. Okay, depreciation on furniture when I prepare PNL account. Okay, then number of employees. This can be used for salaries. Then electricity consumed. This information can be used for electricity expenses. Then carriage inwards. Yes, this should find place in trading account. But this carriage inwards, what we have is the a total amount and this is not available with a split of for XYZ so this 3000 have to be distributed amongst the department XYZ now the carriage inward takes place when there is a purchase okay so this 3000 can be distributed on the basis of ratio of purchases so I'll take a working note here working note basis of allocation of expenses the first expense is carriage inwards and I'm going to allocate this on the basis of purchases okay so what is the ratio we have in purchase it goes like this 132 is to 88 is to 44 or probably if I look at it 44 ones are 44 44 2 is 88 44 3 is 132 so I can say ratio as uh, 3 is to 2 is to 1 done so on this basis this carriage inwards can be distributed so 3 by 6 2 by 6 and 1 by 6 so let me capture that here 2 carriage inwards 
and we know the amount is 3000 multiplied by 3 divided by 6 and 3000 multiplied by 2 divided by 6 and 3000 multiplied by 1 divided by 6 so it is 3000 divided by 6 so in this way this 3000 can be distributed and uh, now it's time to find out what is the uh, overall position okay so let me total the higher side first I mean the credit side basically here total on credit I have 225 for department X 152 500 for department Y and for department Z it is 111,000 so total is 488 500 and on the debit side yes it's going to be lesser than that so let me carry this total so it's 225 and 152 500 and for department D it is 111 so there's a difference let me capture this difference to 25,000 minus some of these items so it's 55 500 and for department Y it is 39 500 and for department Z it is 46 500 so the total is 141 500 and what is this this is nothing but the gross profit right okay so we'll say two gross profit carried on and since this process is done let me carry it to PNL account so I'll say here buy gross profit brought up it is 55 500 39 500 and 46 500 so 141 500 now going back to the question carriage outwards carriage outwards is in relation to sales so this should be distributed on the basis of sales so let me capture it here carriage outwards should be allocated on the basis of sales now what is the information we have regarding sales you know sales is 180 135 and 90 okay so probably uh, if I look at uh, some common base I may get 45,000 as a base so 45 into 4 45 into 3 45 into 2 okay so it can be done on the basis of 4 is to 3 is to 2 so this is done on the basis of turnover okay so 4 by 9 3 by 9 and 2 by 9 that can be the basis okay so here I can capture to carriage uh, outwards and we know the amount is uh, what is the amount we know the amount is 2700 so we'll say 2700 multiplied by 4 by 9 which is 1200 then 2700 multiplied by 3 by 9 and 2700 multiplied by 2 by 9 okay fine so this is about carriage outwards then we have next item salaries now this salaries can be distributed on the basis of number of uh, employees in each department okay so this salaries of 48,000 is paid for uh, say 25 45 60 employees if it is for 60 then what's for 25 what's for 20 and 15 that's it so here I can say salaries and this should be distributed on the basis of uh, number of uh, employees okay and if I arrive at a ratio here probably the 5 can be the common base so it's uh, 5 is to 4 is to 3 so I can say it should be done in the ratio 5 is to say 4 is to 3 so it can be 5 divided by 12 4 by 12 and 3 divided by 12 so let me capture it you can say 2 salaries okay and uh, what is the amount involved the salaries amount is 48,000 so here we'll have 48,000 multiplied by 5 divided by 12 we get 20,000 48,000 multiplied by 4 by 12 and 48,000 multiplied by 3 divided by 12 okay so salary is taken care the next item is advertisement and this can be done in relation to sales okay so here we can have advertisement 
and I'm going to relate it with sales. It means I can adopt the ratio of four is to three is to two. So here I'll say two advertisement. Okay, two advertisement, and uh, we know what is the amount involved. It is two thousand seven hundred, and the ratio is four is to three is to two. So two thousand seven hundred into four by nine. Two thousand seven hundred into three by nine and 2700 into 2 by 9 so this is about advertisement then we have discount allowed discount allowed is to your customers and this should be in relation to sales once again so we'll say discount allowed it should be done on the basis of sales and the ratio is going to be 4 is to 3 is to 2 and what is the amount involved discount allowed it is double two five zero okay so here we say two discount allowed it is double two five zero into four by nine then here I'll have three by nine and here it's going to be two by nine okay so I get these numbers done the next item is discount received and this is on the basis of uh, purchases so what is the purchase ratio here we have and already we have purchase ratio based on carriage invoice right it's 3 is to 2 is to 1 so I'm going to say discount received will be on the basis of uh, purchases and the ratio is going to be 3 is to 2 is to 1 so let me capture it on the credit by discount received and we know the amount involved amount involved is 1800 so it's 1800 into 3 by 6 then it's 2 by 6 and we have it as 1 by 6 okay so this is about discount received then we have rent rates taxes 7500 so on what basis the rent rate taxes probably the rent can be allocated on the basis of floor space and since the other information is not given so we'll link all the three with the floor space that is square feet so let me capture that here rent rates and taxes it can be allocated on the basis of floor space uh, occupied okay and what's going to be the ratio it is uh, 30 25 20 so 5 can be the common base it means 6 is to 5 is to 4 so here we have it 6 is to 5 is to 4 so it can be 6 by 15 5 by 15 and 4 by 15 so accordingly we'll do it to rent rates and taxes and we know what is the amount involved amount involved is 7500 okay so it is 7500 multiplied by 6 by 15 which is uh, 3000 okay then 7500 into uh, 5 by 15 which is 2500 and 7500 into say 4 by 15 and we get 2000 so that is also taken care next item we have depreciation on furniture so depreciation on furniture and this can be allocated on the basis of uh, value of furniture given in the question now what is the value of furniture in each and every department it's 20,000 20,000 and 10,000 so the ratio can be 2 is to 2 is to 1 right so this is going to be the ratio and we can do it to depreciation on furniture and uh, we know the amount amount is 1000 so it's uh, 1000 into 2 by 5 1000 into 2 by 5 and 1000 into 1 divided by 5 okay so this is about depreciation on furniture any other item yes there are electricity expenses labor welfare expenses let's capture that also so here we'll say electricity expenses electricity expenses and this can be allocated on the basis of uh, 
units consumed and do we have that detail yes we have electricity consumed by each department 300 200 100 so the ratio is going to be simple it's uh, 3 is to 2 is to 1 okay so that's about electricity expenses so we'll write two electricity expenses and the amount is 3000 so it's going to be 3000 into 3 by 6 3000 into 2 by 6 and 3000 into 1 divided by 6 okay so that's about electricity expenses and uh, what is the last item labor welfare expenses 2400 which should be linked with the number of employees so that will mention here labor welfare expenses expenses and they should be linked with the number of employees already we have arrived at the ratio which is 5 to 4 to 3 so we can say 5 by 12 4 by 12 and 3 by 12 and we'll capture it here to labor welfare expenses we know the amount it is 2400 so it's of 2400 into 5 divided by 12 that is 1000 then 2400 into 4 divided by 12 and 2400 into 3 divided by 12 okay then there is one item which is not here but we have it here right that is we have to provide for provision for bad debts at 5% so we will capture that also provision for bad debts okay this provision for bad debts uh, should be provided on debtors balances so have a look at the debtors balances it's 15,000 10,000 10,000 so we can say 3 is to 2 is to 2 as a ratio so I'll say 3 is to 2 is to 2 so it can be 3 by 7 2 by 7 and 2 by 7 fine and uh, how we are going to arrive at uh, whether the provision is given here no but uh, we know the overall data right so let's calculate based on that probably here I can put it computation of uh, provision for bad debts so below that right uh, total debtors or, uh, or why we should worry about total debtors why not we simply apply because we know the closing balances right uh, why to consolidate uh, then arrive at a ratio then provide it's going to be very simple 15,000 into 5 percent right 15,000 into 5 percent so it is going to give us 750 so there are two ways of approaching one you can do the calculation like this where I'll show you how this calculation is working it's 15 plus 10 plus 10 so I'll say it is 15,000 plus 10,000 plus 10,000 and item B 5% provision that works out to 1750 and this got to be split between three departments that is X Y is it okay and uh, how, how we would be doing we would be doing based on the ratio what we have arrived now that is 3 by 7 so 1750 into 3 by 7 then 1750 into 2 by 7 1750 into 2 divided by 7 so this is how we are going to arrive in one way but the other way is very simple pretty straightforward simply apply 5% on these numbers okay and uh, you are going to get it okay so let's do it to provision for bad debts so since we have done the calculation let's capture from here 750 for department Y it is 500 and for department Z it is 500 so more or less we have completed now let's uh, do the totaling like this let me test with credit side so on the credit side let's see what is the total 56 400 
4100 and 46800. Let me also check the total on the debit side. It is lesser, so let us follow the credit side total. It's going to be 56400, 4100, and 46800. So obviously we have some difference here. Let's find out the difference. 56400 minus sum of uh, these items. So 26350. This is the profit of uh, Department X. For Department Y, it is 16350. And for Department Z, it is 29300. So total is 72,000. And this is nothing but the net profit. Thank you.